Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, after yesterday's feast of the exaltation of the cross, we celebrate today the memorial of Mary, our Lady of Sorrows. Just as Mary shared in the sufferings of Jesus, she also shares in our sufferings. And just as Mary stood beneath the cross of Jesus, she also stands beside us as we carry our own crosses in life. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us be sorry for our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that when your Son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close by and share his suffering, grant that your Church, 
participating with the Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may merit a share in His resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to those who were able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me. Make haste to deliver me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me. For you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which, toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, sorrows are very much part of our human life. There is really no life without sadness, without sufferings, without sorrows. 
There is no life that is only happiness. Because come to think of it, my dear brothers and sisters, if life is just all happiness, we will not know what happiness means. We only know happiness because we experience sorrow. It is because of the sorrows that happiness is experienced and felt. We all suffer. We all experience sorrows, maybe in different degrees, but sorrow is a universal human experience. That is why Jesus, even though He is God, when He became man, He also experienced sorrow. The letter to the Hebrews in our first reading today attests to this. We heard, Son though He was, Jesus learned obedience from what He suffered. Jesus experienced life's sorrows. And the Blessed Virgin Mary also experienced the sorrows of life. She who was spared from the stain of sin was not spared from sorrow. As Jesus shared, as Jesus suffered, so Mary shared in the sufferings of her son. In our gospel today, we are brought to Calvary, where Mary stands beneath the cross of Jesus. Just imagine that situation. A mother standing beneath the cross of her son. Just imagine the sorrow that Mary felt as she beheld Jesus on the cross. Just imagine the pain that Mary felt as she heard the ridicules and insults hurled against Jesus. Just imagine the many questions and confusions in a mother's heart. But Mary, because she is a mother, was there standing beneath the cross of her son. Here, we see the courage of Mary. Mary, in the face of sorrow, suffering, and death, remained steadfast and courageous. She did not leave Jesus. She stayed with Jesus until the end. Nagdadalamhati si Maria, pero ipinakita rin ni Maria ang kanyang tapang sa harap ng pagdadalamhati. Nagdadalamhati si Maria, pero ipinakita niya ang tatag ng kanyang kalooban nang hindi niya iniwan si Jesus. Kahit sa harap ng pagdurusa at kamatayan, Nandun siya, tinitingnan si Jesus, may tatag ng loob. My dear brothers and sisters, there is so much sorrow in our world today, especially because of the pandemic. There are people who, in order to save themselves, would just abandon others, abandon those who are suffering, people who will leave people in need behind. Para iligtas ko ang sarili ko, 
iniiwan ko yung mga taong nangangailangan at nagdurusa. There are people whose lives are so comfortable even in the midst of this pandemic that they do not share in the sorrow of others. Dahil okay naman ang buhay, hindi naman ako masyadong apektado, wala na akong pakialam sa ibang nagdurusa. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be like Mary, our Lady of Sorrows. Let us not leave Jesus behind in the face of difficulties. Minsan kasi kapag humarap na sa paghihirap, dumanas na ng krisis at problema sa buhay, iniiwan na natin si Jesus. Tinatalikuran na natin si Jesus. Let us be like Mary. Let us not leave Jesus present in those who are sick, in those who are grieving, in those who are sorrowful, in those who are suffering. Like Mary, let us also be courageous in the face of sorrows and sufferings in life. Like Mary, let us also stand beneath the cross of our brothers and sisters who are suffering. Let us share in their suffering. Let us carry the cross with them. Let us have the courage of Mary so that we may also have trust. We may also have faith. And we may also have the hope that one day God will turn our sorrows into joy. Together with Mary, who knows what it means to suffer, let us pray to God for those who have heavy crosses to bear. As we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are heavily burdened by sorrow and trials may find peace and comfort as they reflect on the sorrows of Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may accept the sorrows and sufferings of life and discern God's presence in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the example of Mary, we may be patient in suffering and persevering in doing good works. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that in the midst of difficulties and trials in our everyday lives, we may discover the true meaning of Christian life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer through sickness may find in Mary a true refuge and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. God of all grace, your plan for the world surpasses all our expectations. Keep us trusting in the power of your saving love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O merciful God, to the praise of your name, the prayers and sacrificial offerings which we bring to you, as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you graciously gave to us as a most devoted mother when she stood by the cross of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to the ends of the earth, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, 
and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her Son, may we complete in ourselves for the Church's sake what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We invite you to our Healing Rosary for the World tonight, which will be hosted by the St. Martin of Tours Parish and the Diocesan Shrine of Cruz Sawawa in Bukawe, Bulacan. This is a part of their celebration yesterday of the Feast of the Exaltation of the Cross. And so let us gather tonight at 9 o'clock and join the praying of the Rosary, especially on this day that we honor Mary, our Lady of Sorrows. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Panginoon.